batteries. NICAD batteries have voltages of typically 1.2 volts per cell. They're commonly used due to their lower weight compared to lead acid batteries, which have voltages of 2 volts per cell. Further advantages of NICAD or lithium batteries are reduced charging time, lower self discharge rate, thus longer shelf life, longer life, more cycles, more compact, good storage capability, sturdiness owing to their metal casing less gas development during charge, less prone to damage after a deep discharge, a wider operating temperature range, and the voltage remains almost constant during discharge. The disadvantages of NICAD or lithium batteries are, they're typically more expensive, extremely toxic, there's a risk of thermal runaway, the state of charge cannot easily be determined, there's no voltage drop, the electrolyte density remains unchanged during charging, and they're prone to memory effect. If one of the 12 cells of a lead acid battery is dead, the battery is unserviceable. The capacity of an accumulator, an old name for a battery, is the quantity of electricity that the battery can supply during discharge. The voltage of a fully charged lead acid battery cell is 2.2 volts. Batteries are rated in ampere hours. A test to assess the state of charge of a lead acid battery would involve comparing the onload and offload battery voltages. When carrying out battery condition checks using the aircross voltmeter, a load should be applied to the battery in order to give a better indication of condition. Connecting two 12 volt 40 ampere hour capacity batteries in series will result in a total voltage and capacity respectively of 24 volts and 40 ampere hours. When a battery is almost fully discharged, there is a tendency for the voltage to decrease under load. The capacity of a battery is the number of cycles, charging and discharging, that a battery can withstand without deterioration of its cells, and is the amount of ampere hours that a fully charged battery can supply. The battery control unit. The purpose of a battery control unit is to generally isolate the battery from the bus when the battery charge has been completed, when there's a battery overheat condition, or in the case of an internal short circuit. 